yo, it's soldiers. Ew, ew, ew. And I'm back with another video. You guys, I know you guys missed this face and I missed you guys too. It's officially like winter vibes in Arizona. So I feel like that's what this video is literally going to give. I'm really sick right now. Um, I'm like on the verge of getting sick. Like I'm not like super sick. It's still manageable, but I'm definitely there, which is really frustrating because I have a lot of things going on. I just woke up not too long ago. So I am still in my PJs. Look at my gingerbread pillow right there. So cute. My mom got it for me. I still need to decorate the house like Christmas theme, but I just haven't yet. Um, I ate a bagel this morning. Say hi to my cocoa girl. Came by and brought me some stuff to make, um, tortilla soup later tonight so i'm gonna be making that for dinner and my mom is literally just my best friend she's so sweet so weird i still have not taken this off you guys but i literally have like an eyelash on my freaking sit like it's literally always been there start my day off with making some coffee I feel like with the holidays and the weather changing i definitely drink more coffee than usual and that also means I'm spending a lot more money than usual on drinks, which is something I don't want to do this. So I am planning on getting like a whole cute coffee setup station. You guys know I'm not a big coffee person, but when I want coffee, like I want a good creamy coffee. I also don't really like the taste of coffee. So I try and use a lot of like creamer or milk or whatever it is. I'm also going to be trying out the Dreo milk frothers. This is basically like a barista vibe at home. You no, know, I'm always all about saving my money and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Whenever you go to any coffee shop, nowadays they charge you so much to have like the foam on top or whatever it is. And that's just like not it for me. So here's the base of it. And then we have this little guy that pops onto it. You have like all these little extra tools that you can use. I'm really excited about with this is that I can make art with it supposedly. So we're going to see if I can do it. But this is the best thing to use um, when making art. A magnet. I'm going to get my espresso started. This setup is going to make me feel like a barista without actually being one. I have a few different options, so I could go here for milk, I have half and half, or I have almond milk, which I like that we have all of these different options for whatever kind of milk that we want to use, because I know there's a lot of girlies out there who use different types of milk. So go with milk, and then we go to foam, you have a hot cappuccino, hot latte, hot flat white. I'm going to go with cold thick foam, so this is everything that I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in here right now. Start frothing. Look at that, you guys. Now it's frothing. Now we literally just let it do its work. A cute little coffee cup of our espresso in there. Everything else is gonna be milk. This is the type of coffee I like. I feel like this is just such an easy way to like make a good coffee at home. The disc tip right here, it's also magnetic, so it's super easy to put in. Okay, enjoy. So that the espresso and your milk kind of like mixes together, but it's thick. Like I can see that it's thick, so that's nice. So we're gonna just go like this. Let it like mix up. I think I need to work on my skills. <laughs> Y'all, this is what I came up with. She's cute though. You guys see the color on this? That's how you know it's gonna be a good latte. Rinse this out. This is dishwasher safe. So literally you can just pop it in the dishwasher. Try and see if you can do this. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm gonna use coffee creamer. Do a shot and we're gonna let that go ahead and go half and half on here because it is creamer and then we're gonna do cold thick foam espresso once i get a hang of this you guys and really figure out like how to make my coffee i think it's gonna be super easy and fun for me to do especially during the holiday time really go check out drill because i'm i'm obsessed it's definitely foamy y'all Is that not giving barista? And it was so easy. Like it's literally two steps. Up is ice cold because this is ice cold. So bomb. I really just got so scared because some guy like came up to the house, to the door and he was like, like I saw him pull up and then I walked away and then he was like banging on the door and I got really scared. So I called Anthony and I'm like, what the hell? And Anthony like talked to him on the thing but couldn't understand what he was saying and then he just drove off. But it was just like really weird and he like came up to the house like knocking on the door like banging. So I just got really really freaked out but it's all good now because now he left and I didn't answer the door. 
Um, but now I have my chicken. I'm gonna start seasoning my chicken up. I'm trying to do this now so that when Anthony gets home, it can be ready. That was just really scary. I was laying on the couch for a little bit and then I got up because I'm now making um, this stuff for my tortilla soup because that's what I'm making for dinner tonight since I'm not feeling as well. But like I'm so like just need to lay down. But I don't have time to do that because I laid down yesterday. I got shit going on so I can't just lay down anymore and I'm kind of just irritated that I can't lay down anymore. And cutting out those jalapenos, those are going to be for the soup. Part of me kind of wants to put more but I feel like that's going to be enough because then I'll season it and cilantro. So I got to cut up cilantro for to go in the pot or to go in the soup and also for on top. So I'm going to rinse it off. It's all up. Leave this out for topping because it can be like chunks. And then I'm just going to get it to where it's decently topped up because it's going to be in the soup. So it doesn't need to be like super fine. But just so that it's not like a whole chunk you're getting. Basically already cut up because all that's really all that we put in it. And then just cilantro and the jalapenos. Alright you guys, so I just got done with the soup. Literally cleaned up the kitchen from... The disasters that it was it's crazy that dinner is already ready by four o'clock i honestly feel like old but this is also my lunch too i see that it's bubbling i really don't want it to bubble so i'm gonna just put it on low i don't ever get this foaminess but for some reason i am bubble but i don't want it to overflow and honestly i hope it's still really delicious it looked really really good before i put it in with heavy whipping cream so we'll see if that changes i keep it like that so it doesn't overflow it's definitely gonna have some bubbling but it should be good because it needs to sit and like thicken with the heavy whipping cream but i'm about to take a shower and hopefully that will make me feel a little bit better anthony's uh brothers have a football game tonight and honestly i'm just debating if i want to go or not just because i am feeling a little bit under the weather i feel like me going and sitting outside is not going to be the best thing for my body so, I don't know what to do. So, we're going to just wait and see. I don't think you guys have seen my hair since it's been dyed, but here's what she looks like. She definitely needs to be curled. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower, and then I will see you guys when I'm done. Hey, you guys. I'm currently editing the video that you guys are seeing right now. But I know it was super short and sweet, and that's because we love Sabrina Carpenter, okay? She's giving short and sweet. For one, look how cute my sweatshirt is. Like, tell me that's not so cute. I got it at Hollister at Tanger Outlets for literally like $10. It's just like a white sweatshirt. But yeah, so I've been editing this video. Welcome to the end. This is the end, you guys. Unfortunately, I didn't record anything else of the rest of my day because I was out for the rest of the day. I literally ate my soup and went to sleep and I was donezos because I was sick. And now I just got back from Miami, which you guys probably saw the Miami vlog before this or after this. Um, but yeah, we literally just got back from Miami and currently having breakout on my chin. It's just that after four day vacation glow. Say hi. What up, Bob? I'm just doing my outro. Watch Cross. If you haven't yet, watch Cross. That's put on. We put y'all on. Shit's good. Shit's real good. I started watching that and it's really freaking good. So make sure you go watch it if there's a show that you want to watch. And also too, you got to watch Kai Sinat stream, bro. Because me and Anthony have been locked in watching that shit. And did you see his Kevin Hart shit? I sent it Fire. to you. you know I, sent it I didn't to you. send it. Or I didn't see it before. I didn't see it. I saw it on my TikTok before. I saw it on Instagram that you sent it. Oh, wow. <laughs> brother what make sure you guys go check out dreo because that barista little maker has been so much fun using it and being able to make better coffees so if you guys want to be able to be a barista at home and save some money make sure you guys go check them out which will be linked down in the description below and i love you guys and i will see you in the next video make sure to buy your man's whatever he wants for christmas too <laughs> okay